This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Moonlight. Best Picture. That was Jordan Horowitz, a producer of the film La La Land, announcing that the actual winner of Best Picture was Moonlight. If he looked pissed off, you can imagine why. He went from just thinking he won an Oscar to announcing his own loss. But you gotta feel bad for the producers of Moonlight 2. When they dreamed about winning an Oscar, they probably didn't imagine the announcement would be made by an angry producer or include the phrase, this is not a joke. This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. The only real winner seems to be Steve Harvey. Here's how he reacted when he heard the news. Steve isn't the only other guy to announce the wrong winner in an award show. In fact, I'll show you a bunch of others in this video. But first, let's tackle a topic. Why did the Oscars announce the wrong winner? Was this an innocent mishap or did they do it on purpose? I think so. You might think it was just an innocent mistake, but what if I told you that Emma Stone actually had the card announcing her win for Best Actress the entire time? That's a pretty big twist, right? And the twist on twist ending of the Oscars was so twisty this year that you would think even M. Night Shyamalan couldn't have written it. But you'd be wrong, as M. Night Shyamalan actually tweeted, I wrote the ending of the Academy Awards 2017. According to the Oscars, here's what happened. The presenters, Faye Dunaway and Warren Beatty, didn't read the card wrong. They were given the wrong card by a crew member whose responsibility was to ensure that the right envelope makes it out on stage. So that's it. Mystery solved. It was all a simple mistake. And you know what? Mistakes do happen. I mean, just ask Steve Harvey. There's... I have to apologize. But there's been plenty of other mistakes in announcing awards. Even more recently, in 2016, the MOBO Awards announced the winners of Best Single to the R&B Collective, WSTRN. But the award was supposed to go to Abracadabra. The same year as the Steve Harvey's fail, Oli Murs accidentally told Monica Michael that she was getting booted off of The X Factor. Unfortunately, Monica, you are going home, I'm afraid. So, what? Anton. No, Oli, no? she's not. No, oh, she's not going to break. No, sorry. We're going to deadlock. Okay, we're sorry, going to deadlock. sorry. In 2011, Tiffany Green announced the winner of the Viewer's Choice Award at the BET Awards to be Chris Brown, then quickly corrected herself, saying it was Rihanna. Chris Brown. Look at me now. I'm sorry, Rihanna. Wrong again. The winner was actually Drake putting hip hop softest rapper in the last place he wants to be, namely anything involving Rihanna and Chris Brown. One year prior, the wrong winner was announced on Australia's Next Top Model, and you got to imagine they're looking for extra views. I mean, that show's been going on for like 10 years. This was a complete accident. I'm so sorry. It's Amanda. I'm so sorry. It was fed to me wrong. It's okay, oh, Sarah. God. Luckily, both models were pretty cool about the screw up. The only person who seemed really pissed off was this guy. <laughs> I'm... Oh. Yeah, he looks like he just found out he has terminal cancer. He either had $5 million riding on this, or he's auditioning for Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. But that's not all. Back in 2009, the NRJ Awards accidentally gave Katy Perry an award that should have gone to Rihanna. In 2002, Britney Spears gave Michael Jackson an AMA award of merit, but somehow he thought he was receiving a slightly more prestigious prize. If someone had told me that one day I would be getting, as a musician, um, the Artist of the Millennium Award, I wouldn't have believed it. Well, you shouldn't have believed it, Michael, because that's not even an award. Believe it or not, 2017 wasn't the only time that the Oscars announced the wrong winner. Back in 1964, Sammy Davis Jr. announced the wrong winner for Best Music Score during the 36th Academy Awards. Oh, I, I am, I, they gave me the wrong envelope. Wait till the NAACP hears about this. So I get it, okay, mistakes happen. But there's something different about this mistake. First of all, the choice of presenters was a little fishy. I mean, no disrespect to Warren Beatty or Faye Dunaway, but in a moment when the Oscars should be reaching out to millennials, they pick presenters who are 79 and 76 years old, whose careers are, well, pretty much done. Those are odd choices to present the Oscar for Best Film. Usually the presenters are the hottest tickets in Hollywood. Last year, Morgan Freeman presented the award. The years before that, it was Sean Penn, Will Smith, Jack Nicholson, and Michelle Obama, Tom Cruise, and Steven Spielberg. They're not all exactly young people, but they're current active Hollywood A-listers. Warren Beatty, on the other hand, hasn't starred in a big movie since Dick Tracy back in 1990, and Faye Dunaway's last big movie was Chinatown back in 1974. They're both great actors, but do young people even know who they are? 
If you wanted to pick presenters who might screw up reading a card, you couldn't find a better choice than people in their 70s. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. That alone doesn't mean much, but add to that a major problem with the Academy's official story. The Oscars blamed the error on a crew member accidentally handing the presenters the wrong envelope, specifically the card for Emma Stone's win for Best Actress. That would totally make sense, except as The Independent recently reported, Emma Stone kept the card with her name on it as a souvenir, and had been holding on to it the entire time. So if the official story is to be believed, we have to accept that for some reason the Oscars printed a duplicate envelope for Best Actress and got it mixed up with the one for Best Picture and also gave it to presenters who are a little older than usual and would suffer a little blowback in their careers for a mess up. You know, because their careers are pretty much over. It's not impossible that this is all one giant coincidence, but then you gotta ask yourself the question, did they do this for the ratings? There was already controversy surrounding the Oscars, especially when everyone was still la la land to sweep the awards. The hashtag Oscars so white was trending on Twitter for the third time in a row, so what better way to draw the focus on the fact that a black movie won than to have the so white movie accidentally announced before the real winner was revealed. The reality is that award shows have been pulling stunts for a long time to boost their ratings. After Ricky Gervais drew controversy and attention when he hosted the Golden Globes, they brought him back to host the next year. Now, the Hollywood Foreign Press have warned me that if I insult any of you or offend any viewers or cause any controversy whatsoever, they'll definitely invite me back next year as well. In fact, he hosted a total of four times. In 2009, Kanye drew more attention than ever to the VMAs after jumping on stage to let Taylor Swift finish in a minute. Unsurprisingly, they chose Taylor Swift to present him with his Video Vanguard Award in 2015. The truth is, award shows know how to make headlines. They know that getting attention drives viewership and higher ratings gets them more money. Remember when Britney Spears made out with Madonna? They've been doing this forever. So did the Oscars set this one up to get attention? I think they did. But I want to know what you think. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, I've got two more videos for you to check out here. I've done a bunch of these rants videos in the past. Recently, I talked about Dr. Phil and the Cash Me Outside Girl. I've also talked about the Drake versus Nelly Beef and Chris Brown versus Soldier Boy and the boxing match they were supposed to have. Also, the Kardashian curse. That's a really interesting video. Be sure to check it out, browse around, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter, and let me know if you think this whole thing, you know, was rigged. I think it was.